Hey, what's up everybody? This is your homework for this afternoon to review this PTON short trade idea that we took this morning trading live with the team. Uh, here's the team profits, PTON 20%, 20%, 10%, 20%, 20 twice. Somebody called me a goat, thank you for that. 15%, here's another one, 90 on PTON, 143 on PTON, 266 PTON. We've got 21% and 7%, 15%, 16%. You get the idea, right? 25% on PTON puts off of that call out one and done. Even one of the members that was their first day trading live with the team, uh, first day in here with you guys, Gates, you were remarkably calm during the live trading on voice, $27 on the day, very impressive. You're the one that took the trade, Jill, but thank you for the compliment. So here is the breakdown on the PTON trade and the reason why we took it and uh, the reason why it was on the watch list all that good stuff so i'm on the five minute time frame here for pton um it had earnings this morning which is what caused this drop and then before the market opened it actually had rallied back up um a, a, and recovered a lot of those gains that it did drop in the pre-market session so I'll be honest with you, you know, what I was looking for on PTON was to continue with what the trend was, which was down, and short this rally here for a larger move down to the bottom side. Um, the trades that we took, we were still able to get 20, 25%, 30% on it, depending on where your entry was, but we did not get that big flush move that I was looking for. Uh, so here's our rally back up, and we, whenever we broke this upward trend line here, you know, I was expecting a drop back down to maybe $10, or, or even even down to $11 would have been really nice. Uh, we Unfortunately, we just did not get that big of a drop, but hey, we can't be greedy. We've got to take what's given to us. All right, so I'm going to move this to the one-minute time frame to show you exactly what I was looking at um, on PTON and, and why we took the trades where we did. So PTON, if we're just looking at this pre-market price action, we're going to find that there was some support slash resistance right here at this level. That's going to be $12.20. So I'm just going to draw a trend line there and we're going to uh, change that to a dashed line. Um, so here's our resistance at $12.20. Uh, $12 so we have resistance placed right here in this area. Then we have that same level of resistance then becoming support right there in that area then flipped back to resistance right here, and then just before the market opened, we got a test of 12.20 once more as a point of resistance. So following the market open, uh, PTON originally went red, got bought back up, tried to break 12.20, and failed. Tried to break 12.20 again, and then really failed. And this right here, this candle was kind of our sign that we wanted to take this short, uh, but we didn't wanna go in right away. And here's why, a couple of reasons. Number one, we don't ever wanna chase the moves down, right? Um, because at this time, you know, the contracts premium was spiked a little bit, so, so we're never really wanting to chase moves down. Number two, this drop was occurring within the first five minutes, uh, and we try not to trade within those first five minutes. So what we wanted to do on, on, on a drop down is look to short the rally that we get. Uh, so we, we did, we took, we did exactly that, right? We took the short entry on PTON um, uh, as it was rallying up right here and then got the drop down into the low of day, which is exactly what we wanted. We were actually up, up, up about 10% right here. Um, I held through and didn't take profits. I think a lot of the team actually considered holding, actually did hold through here and didn't take profits. And that is because when we entered in on this, this first position, uh, the trade size, the capital size was managed. Remember I was saying that this should be a starter position and our stop loss was gonna be up here at $12.20. Um, so we could have scalped that for a 10% move or just held through. And, and I think what the majority of the team decided to do was hold through on this position. Uh, so our, again, our stop loss was placed up here at 1220 because that was our support and resistance from the pre-market. And then we noticed something interesting. PTON then started to form a triangle pattern with a series of lower highs, right? So here's your high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and higher lows, right? So here's your low, your higher lows being formed all the way up until we get to this point. 
at which the stock must, well, not must, but usually will make a directional decision. And in this case, that directional this, this decision, excuse me, was down. So we got the drop down on higher volume, right? Notice the high volume coming in here, drop down into the low of day, and that's what pushed our contracts from this original entry point, that's what pushed our contracts up about 20, 25, 30%, again, depending on, on your entry point. Um, so we weren't done with the trade at this time. I did mention, you know, this is a good place to, to take some profits off. Uh, if you took everything off the table right there, that's fine. Um, but I mentioned that this is a good place to at least scale some profits off. Cause remember we were looking for that bigger flush move down to $10, right? And, and again, unfortunately we just did not get that, uh, that bigger move, but here's how we executed the rest of this trade. So the area where a stock breaks out of or down from a pattern is always going to be a hidden level of support or resistance. So we have this triangle pattern right here on PTON. This is where it made the directional decision to break down. We have got the high volume there. So this level at 1180 then becomes our resistance point for any sort of rally, right? Because if this is to continue down, at this point, it should continue to make these lower highs and should not make higher highs. And in the event that it does start to do that, you see the trend changes right there. So what we did was waited for PTON to rally back up. And then I said, if we see weakness around or near 1180, if we start to see a rejection, go ahead and take that entry short. And so that's exactly what happened when this candle tapped 1180 and then started to push back down. This candlestick is known as a shooting star candlestick. And what that signals when it's formed at the top of an uptrend near a point of resistance is a reversal. So we went short again on PTON or added into the position short um, on PTON if you were still holding from over here uh, for this move down into the low of day slash near the low of day. And once again, those same contracts that we were trading ran another 20 to 25 to 30% uh, depending on your entry. That was the, and those were the only two trades on, on PTON that we took because beyond that, again, what I, what I was discussing earlier, beyond that, uh, PTON did break this downward trend line to the top side, started to uptrend, broke the resistance point at 1180. But I want to show you how important these levels are that we just, that we just pointed out, right? So and that was the, th those were the only two trades that we took short here with a stop loss at 1220 for the move down into the low of day and then short again at 1180 for the move down to the low of day. But if you wanted to continue to trade PTON, you could have just left the same trend lines that we had drawn on the chart and traded around these trend lines, right? Could have went long on a break of 1180 for the move up to 1220 plus, um, or you could have not went long here and waited for a bounce off of 1180, validating it as support either right here or right here for the move up. Or you could have waited for a break of 1220, right? Because what we what do we know to be true about uh, support and resistance in the market? Old resistance here can become new support here, or old resistance up here can become new support here. So you could have went long over 1220 for the move up to 1280. Anywhere, any kind of entry in this area with the stop loss just below 1220, maybe even down to 12, uh, would have worked for a for the long entry up above. Um, so a lot of lot of price action, kind of choppy, I know, but a lot of price action really respecting that those two levels that we had drawn at 1180 and 1220. But what I wanted to break down was was the two short entries that we took using the pre-market uh, data along with the intraday price action to determine levels. All right, I hope that this video has helped you out. Please press that like button for me if it has. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, do so. Get alerted whenever I post new videos like this. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I will see you all in chat tomorrow. By the way, uh, the $1,000 account challenge does start next Monday, May 16th. 
So if you are not in the Discord server and you would like to participate and be a part of that, uh, click the link in the description. Come trade with me. We trade live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, my goal with this $1,000 account will be to grow it as far as I can, um, as much as I can. And, and there's no timeline on it, um, but all of the trades that I do take in that challenge account will be trades off of my watch list following the watch list training rules. All right, again, thank you for your time. Enjoy your afternoon, take care, and I will see you in chat. Thank you.